Welcome back. 602 Rose Show. Fantasy picks for the Rose League Fantasy Bachelorette. This is Jen's season, week seven. This is hometowns already. So, 11th place in the 602 Rose Show League. Not sure I'm going to be able to close that gap, but it's way better than where we were. Same for Bachelor Nation, 873rd. Kind of fought our way back. Again, chasing by too many points, I think it's over. I don't think we can, I can win at this point. But hopefully you still can in your league. Week 7, pick 3. 3 out of 4 in your lineup. 1 goes home. Maybe that'll factor in. We had a guy go home last week in Sam M. who put up a ton of points. Pricing is such that you can slot whoever you want. So it really just comes down to your analysis of the hometowns. For me, Jonathan, Marcus, Devin, in that order, calling my shot, that's the points finish. I think Jonathan's going to score the most points. Jeremy, we just really haven't seen anything from Jeremy all year. Currently 8th in average scoring, uh, obviously last standing, so having him in the top 8 as a Final Four contestant is probably a good thing. 34 points last week with that one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I, I, I can't do it. 14, 12, 18, 3, 18, 34. So you have to figure he gets you know, 25, 20, 25 minutes of screen time for his hometown date. But spoiler, she sends him home. So I think it would be foolish to expect any more than what we've already gotten from him in an episode where we know he goes home. Uh, so he's going to be the odd man out for me. I can't slot him in there. Uh, Sam did finish ahead of Devin. Uh, total, total points, average points. Obviously gone now, so matters less. But uh, what a run. What a run for... Uh, the, the villain edit, essentially. Uh, Sam M, Devin, Jonathan, Thomas N are your top scorers right now as we go into hometowns. So it says a lot for the new rules. Uh, but, hey, I would love to hear in the comments what you're thinking. And if anything with these new rules would somehow shift Jeremy into your top three from a fantasy standpoint. I'm not sure I can get him there just based on what we've seen. He would have to have a hell of a run, uh, like confessing his love and then crying when she eliminates him. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know how you would get enough points to make up for the difference between going home and getting a rose, which is 12 points. He'd have to outscore somebody by 12 going into the rose ceremony. I just don't think it's there. I, I don't think it can happen. But, hey, let me know. Uh, but for me, it's uh, Jonathan, Marcus, Devin in that order. Not sure yet what they're doing with the episodes. Uh, the Mentel all filmed the 15th, August 15th. So that's done. That's filmed. In theory, they could roll it out at any time. Hopefully, Monday night we get an announcement of what they're going to do up against Labor Day. So conceptually, there's three more like actual episodes and the mental all. So four episodes from this week, seven, eight, nine, and ten, which is how we usually fall. Golden Bachelorette starts the 18th of September, unless they push it. I think we're gonna have a double episode or something here because we're not gonna have an episode on Labor Day. It's just not gonna happen. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, that'll kind of determine what lineups we go forward with and when the lock date is we will not score the mental all thanks for joining me 602 rose show and we'll see you monday night uh with a live reaction to to, to hometowns why not let's just do it let's do it i'll see you guys there <laughs>